Hi. In this video, we're going to talk about adding a new user to Google Analytics. This is very useful when you're adding an agency to manage your Google Analytics or a new employee. So follow along. I'm Travis Flans of WebWorks of Kansas City. Let's go. To get started, the first thing we're going to do is go to analytics.google.com. Now, once here, it's going to ask you to sign in. So use your email address that you use with your Google account that is attached to your Google Analytics. And your password. Now, from here, it's going to log you in. And it's going to show you the last data screen or last screen you looked at inside Google Analytics. Uh, for our purposes, uh, we need to uh, go down. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. Um, for our purposes, we need to go to admin. And now it's going to show us our account. If you have more than one account, you can you can see on the drop down here, you can see all the accounts that you have. Um, and then we're going to go to user management on the account level. Uh, this will allow you to add a user that can perform all actions on your account. So no matter where you add the user, they will only be able to do that much on the account, if that makes sense. So if you add a user here under the property, they'll only be able to view that one property. Um, if they, you add them here on the view level, they'll only be able to look at that view. Uh, for this video's purpose, we're going to add an account level user. Uh, this is giving the user full access to your Google Analytics. Uh, this is, again, good for if you're adding an agency who's going to, who's just helping you get started, uh, or to add an employee, a high-level employee. Again, you can come in here anytime with your account, and you can change the access. So um, if you're just getting started, the easiest thing to do is just add a user on the account level. Now, when we add this user, uh, we're just going to go over here and hit plus and add new users. And we're going to enter the email address that this user uses with Gmail. So uh, I'm going to add webworksofkc at gmail.com. And we're going to notify the user that they've been added. And for this beginning stages, I'm going to just go ahead and say that this user uh, can do everything on this account. Uh, they can add additional users if they need. Uh, they can edit, collaborate, read, and analyze all the data. So if you select all four of these check boxes, you're going to be giving this user full access. Uh, now make sure you're giving somebody access that you trust because you don't want to give too much access. So make sure you have a, a proper agreement in place if you're adding an agency um, and that you're own employees understand what there was expected from them while they're in your account. So uh, after we hit add, this will add the user as we can see. And then the next thing is that the user just needs to click on an acceptance uh, email. And well, we'll just go ahead and do that right now. Uh, so I'm going to log into this Gmail account. And I'm going to use my other account here and enter the password and now you can see that uh, we have granted access to this user to our Google Analytics account and all they need to do is click on this link to access it so we see that, yes, we have added the Google Analytics account. It was added by me. That's the account I logged in with initially at Google Analytics. And so I'm just going to go over there. And here I am logged in as my new user, as you can see. The account, webworksofkc at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that gave you as much information as you need. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. And uh, make sure to subscribe and also hit that little bell to get notifications when we have new videos. 
Again, I'm Travis Flans of WebWorks of Kansas City. Have a good day.